We got planes going over. Right. Hey guys, I've decided to vlog today because I'm getting an injection into my knee and I'm not gonna be able to train for a little while so I thought I would at least vlog about having that done. I tore a tendon in my knee about, I wanna say six months ago, it was quite a long time ago, doing a cast back, which I'll insert a video of now. It doesn't look like it was a particularly, well, it was a bad landing, but it doesn't look like it would have torn a tendon in my knee. However, I think because I had trainers on on a crash mat and my weight kind of went sideways at the end and my foot was stuck to the mat, it meant that the inside of my knee just had a really big tug, you know? Um, so I managed to tear my tendon, but I didn't realize at the time that I'd torn it. I thought I'd just like, you know, tweak something a little bit in my knee. Uh, kept training on it. Uh, it actually kind of got a little bit better itself, but then I did a worm back when I was in Sweden and I made it a lot worse. So I went to see a knee specialist and he told me to get an MRI done. I did that and it showed up that I had torn my popliteus tendon. I think that's how you pronounce it. I went around for ages saying it was my popliteus tendon. That's not a thing. Or is it the other way around? I don't even know. So he said that the best thing to do would be an ultrasound guided injection to fix that up. What that means is that I'm gonna have a an injection into my knee, but they're gonna watch where they're putting the injection using ultrasound at the same time. I've had a really similar thing done to my Achilles tendon earlier this year, or was it last year even? End of last year, beginning of this year. And it was a fairly hideous thing to have done. Uh, and it lasts about five, 10 minutes and they're just slowly filling you with liquid and it feels really really bizarre anyway I'm not massively looking forward to having that done and I'm really not looking forward to having to take four weeks out of training but it's gonna be worth it because I really really need to get this knee fixed so I can start training properly again so that's the plan for today and I've been filming for far too long already right now I'm just on the way to the hospital with my lovely mummy who doesn't want to be in the video <laughs> um, <laughs> she's coming with me one because she wants to look after me and two because I'm not going to be able to drive home after I've had this injection done so she's being my little taxi driver <laughs> um, but yeah we're nearly there and I'm feeling a little bit nervous my knees. Right down there? Yes. <laughs> How long does this injection take? What to do? Yeah. Uh, about five minutes. Yeah. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah. Just as the plane's coming over. I always do that. I always start filming just when, just as the plane flies over. Actually, right. I'm really squinting those. It's really, really bright. Let's find somewhere else to film. Hello, Bella. I'm back from having my injection done now. 
it was actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be at all. It was nowhere near as bad as when I had the ultrasound guided injection in my Achilles. That was so much worse. This time I didn't feel like my whole knee was filling up with liquid. When I had my Achilles injected I came away with like a huge ball of liquid on the back of my foot essentially and it was pretty grim. But this was fine. In fact when she'd finished doing the injection I thought she'd just finished doing the um, what's it called, the local anaesthetic. So I was like, okay, and like waiting for my next injection to be done. She was like, no, that's it, you're done. I was like, oh, amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm just sitting here now, got my leg up on a little cushion. <laughs> that's not helping at all, it just, you know, makes me feel like I'm a patient. Now I'm just gonna chill out for the rest of the day, I need to take it a little bit easy. But what was really good actually, was the lady who was doing my injection said that she thinks I only need to take two weeks off from training. Um, but I've booked a whole month of work so I'm probably going to take it pretty easy for the whole month because I want to give my knee the best possible chance of making a full recovery so I'm definitely going to do nothing for the first two weeks well, nothing with my legs anyway, I might do some upper body stuff um, but then, yeah, after two weeks I might be able to start some really gentle training again so I'm quite happy about that. Now I'm just sitting here editing a vlog from my time in Argentina and I'm gonna start looking into booking a holiday for me and Eric to go on which will be really, really exciting because although we do a lot of travelling together that's normally for training or for events or for work so we've never actually been on holiday together where it was just a holiday and nothing to do with free running and actually if any of you have any suggestions of where you think we would really enjoy going then let me know in the comment section below because i've just started looking into it and it's a bit overwhelming all of the different options <laughs> so uh yeah any advice on places to go would be much appreciated but yeah other than that just gonna take it pretty easy today and I'll see you next time guys. Sorry that this was quite a random little vlog today. Just talking about having an injection done. But I just thought I'd let you know what was going on in my life. Okay, see you now. Bye!